Well, all right, everybody. It has now been five days later. Today's Saturday, so <clears throat> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So four days later. Um, and I've spent a little time with this. I've been able to uh, do a few things with it. And I kind of want to talk about my impressions of it. Now, unfortunately, you're only going to get this, this angle because there's some weird things about this. And let me, let me plug this in again, and uh, we're going to get to... We're going to get to uh, starting this up again. Um, so here's how it works. It has to be locked in. You have to tell it it's on a tripod. Well, it's on the app right here, which is very convenient. Um, you have to make sure this is all lined up, and it is. So you say done, and then you have to tell it what lens you're, you're using. Now, that was one of the interesting things of this, is that you can't necessarily trust the community and what they've done with their lenses. You kind of have to go through the setup and the calibration um, of your lenses with your camera and um, yeah, use this little thing and the measurement tool and, and you, have to, you have to go through a very convoluted process to set up each lens with your camera and um, I'm going to talk about my experiences with the customer support and the technical support in just a minute here, but I do want to show you that it works very, very well. Um, you basically take it to one end and you say, that's A. You take it to the other end and you say, that's, this is B. And if you've seen any of the Edelchrome videos on the internet, you're going to know that this looks very familiar to, to how he does this. So I'm just going to basically um, come down here and I'm going to uh, focus on, um, I don't know, I'm going to focus on my, on my glasses. That'll be right here in front of the uh, camera here. And I'm sorry, I've got so much junk on my table, but it has been quite a process to get things um, happening. So you have to go on the app and you have to kind of tell it where to focus. So there's a little focus roller here and I'm going to focus on my glasses. Isn't that interesting? I need my glasses to see and I can't really use my glasses as a... Sure, we'll go right there. Great. All right, and I'll just focus on that. And then basically what you do is you press and hold this button. It goes beep to beep. And it says, okay, that's the thing. You can actually take a picture of your glasses to say, hey, this is the target. It's very easy. It really is. And then basically all you do is say, go to A. And this camera will basically track whatever you have pictured there. So, I mean, it works. Everything works just fine. Sort of. So... The concept works. The concept works really, really well. And um, I might as well uh, record this to show you that uh, it does indeed, and I'll just go back to the B, um, uh, the, the B connection. Um, so it works, but it takes some work. It does take some work to make it work. And so let me explain what I mean by that. Um, first of all, you need a really good tripod. And I had a really good tripod. Uh, the only problem was it's a bowl, it's a bowl type connector. So it sits in a bowl like this and then this thing kind of connects to it. Um, and unfortunately I didn't have a 3.8 screw coming out of it except for the screw that's in the head. And um, Edelkrone says do not put it on a fluid head. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I tried, I tried it anyway. And I found out pretty quickly why you don't do that is because uh, you can lock down your, your tilt as much as you want, but this thing is heavy and it will make it tilt. So I had to buy a different bowl um, head, I guess is what you want to call it. And all it does is just a, it's a metal, it's a metal platform with a 3.8 screw coming out of it. So this works pretty well in that case. Now I'm going to, um, whoops, stop recording there. I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to take the module off just so I can so show you the slider because the slider works really, really well and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, this is really module and um, works really well. So basically, you know, it's, it's nice and smooth and when I put this on a, um, 
on a fluid head, it's going to be really fun to, to use. Uh, and it seems no matter what you put this on, you're going to get a little bit of flex. And it is not the slider flexing, it's the mount. It's the mount itself kind of flexing a little bit. So, you know, your, your mileage may vary, but this is a very expensive, very good tripod, and it's still having a hard time holding the weight of this because it's heavy. All right, so let's talk about, um, let me put this in the middle here and lock it down. Let's talk about my experience with Edelchrome so far. Now, I bought this on a, I guess I bought this one week ago. Uh, I put my order in one week ago online and I bought $4,000 worth of stuff. And the reason why I bought that much is because when you buy the kit, and the slider, and then I also got this um, tension control piece that uh, helps to uh, do nice smooth controls. Anyway, it's like $4,000 worth of stuff, and there was a $200 off deal at the time when you bought all this motion control stuff. So I'm thinking, okay, that sounds like it's the right time to buy. So I did. Um, I took delivery on it a Tuesday. On Thursday, I went back to the website and all this stuff that I just bought was in a big package for $800 off, 800 and more dollars off. And I was like, whoa, what did I, what happened? I mean, I just bought this and now they're offering me $600 more or less than I paid. Um, it was a little difficult getting a hold of Edochrome. Um, they don't have an actual phone number, an actual phone number that you call. You have to go online and either send them an email or you send them a message saying, please call me. So they called me today and the lady on the phone was extremely nice and I forget her name at the moment but uh, she was incredibly nice and um, they were able to give me um, about $650 worth of stuff and when I say stuff um, there is a different uh, mounting module that, that will work um, for more static shots that's interesting and then there is also um, I have lifetime um, support and warranty on the hardware, which I guess is pretty good because these are motors and they're going to go bad someday. And, you know, who knows? I, I may be able to uh, use that. And at least I'm going to stay with the Edelchrome product line um, going into the future. Now, um, the other thing was I had some technical issues with... Um, one of the things is this slider... The motor, the, the motor unit, this thing right here, um, it's not terribly strong. So if you have this off even two degrees, like if it's trying to climb a two degree hill, not going to do it. It's not not happy doing any kinds of climbs. Um, but uh, talk to the rep and she said that they are considering that in the future, maybe a module with a much stronger motor that you can do inclines and, and grades. Um, so that's something interesting. Uh, and then there's uh, some some jerkiness in, um, in when you, when you go from, from one target to another target, a lot of times there's a, there's an immediate like jitter. Um, and that's something that they're going to work with me through as well. So I, I, the bottom line is, uh, oh, and I, I was talking about how, um, so this is my, my focus thing and you can see, hopefully you can see that it's like twisted. It's not, it's not straight and flat. So clearly depending on where I'm focusing on this thing for my, for my lens calibration, um, that could be a problem. So they're also sending me uh, another one of those. All right, so that's the good about Edelchrome and this, this product stuff. Now here's the, here's the not great. Um, for one, it's extremely sensitive. I mean, you have to spend some time with this, this set to kind of learn how to make it work correctly for you. Um, you're not going to get super fast motion out of this thing. Um, it's just, it's, that's not what it's for. This is probably more for product shots where you can do a lot smoother, slower motion. One of my biggest complaints though, is that if I'm spending $4,000 on a big kit and they do sell it as a kit, it, uh, it, in my opinion, I feel like it should come with a case. It should come with some sort of, I mean, they sell this as a complete unit that is portable and um, easy to put together and easy to get started. So the idea is that you're taking this stuff to somewhere and you're setting it up and then you're getting your shots. Well, 
it would be nice if it came with some sort of Pelican case already with the cutouts and everything for everything to fit into it. Now, down here I have my Tilta um, shoulder rig and that came in a beautiful case where everything that I need for the shoulder rig building is in there, which is really nice. And I just kind of hoped and, and wished that, uh, that Edelchrome would have a case for this. Um, the other issue is it's not silent like they say on their website. These motors make noise. And um, I'm going to uh, demonstrate that really quickly for you so that you can hear what the noise is. Um, I was talking to the tech person. Once you get your lenses into your system, which is a very long iterative process, um, that's only for this camera. Uh, she mentioned to me that if I was going to be using different cameras on this, I would have to recalibrate the same lenses on different bodies um, to get a more accurate result. I'm going to put it on 100% speed because that's obviously what would make it the, the loudest. And I'm also going to make it uh, track something so that we have even more um, motors running. Okay. So here we go. I'm just going to run this from B to A and uh, I'll lean down here toward it so you can hear what the sounds are. All right, so there you have it. Um, most of the noises come from this head unit. The, the actual, um, let's see, if I, can, if I can turn this this way and just not have a target, and now I'm gonna take it to B from here, you'll hear the difference. It's a lot quieter when these motors aren't running, which I don't know if that's a firmware update or some maybe I have something too tight in there or whatever. Um, I'm hoping to spend some time with it over the next couple of weeks and sort of fine tune um, motion and all that stuff. Here's here's something kind of interesting. If I'm if I uh, if I say here's a target, what's neat is if I manually move this around. It's locked on. Watch this. So it's locked on. It will not. See? It's following where it's locked on. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool that um, <laughs> you can even do a, a manual. There's a, there's a button on here that will create a manual um, slide control. So you can do it fast. You can, you can do it way, way slow. It's still going really slow. Yeah. But as you can hear, There's just, seems like there's more noise than there should be. And then we'll go super fast. Good, and then we'll stop. So I mean, it's a great system. And I gotta say, the customer support, once you get past the weird way of getting contacted, once you are actually speaking to somebody from Edelchrome, it's amazing. They're great people. Um, and I, I have a lot of confidence going forward with them that, that things are gonna work out pretty well. Um, uh, there are fine-tuned procedures in the um, in in the app, so you can go through and tighten things and loosen things and um, and and fine-tune it for the motors and for the position and stuff like that. I just need to get better at knowing how to do that. So that's been my basically unboxing and first impressions of the Edelchrome Motion Kit uh, with uh, XL Slide. Now this is the Slider Pro X or something like that. I, I forget what it's called, but it's the big expensive one. Um, so there you have it. And then all the things that I put on here earlier. When I get some time with it and I have some shots to show you, I'll probably come back maybe in a couple of weeks and give a better impression as to um, what this has been doing. I would love to test out the, the stop motion and the, um, oh, what is it called? the uh, time lapse, the time lapse and the stop motion um, techniques and stuff like that. I think that would be fun to play with. Um, it's just going to take a little time for me to find the time to actually do things like that. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, about Edelchrome, about the motion kit, about the slider, 
I'd be happy to try and answer them for you. Um, if there's anything that you'd like me to try with this before you buy such a system for $4,000, um, let me know. And I'm, I'll be happy to try it out for you and let you know if it can do the things that you need them to do. So thanks for watching. Bye.